Thank you for your interest in the topic of femtosecond laser for either in cataract surgery or at the time of refractive lens exchange. The laser represents a significant advance in enhancing outcomes. Cataract surgery is the most common surgical procedure on the body. In North America, there are over 3.5 million procedures done each year, and worldwide, this is over 19 million per year. And there's a growing interest in patients desiring the full range of vision, and the femtosecond laser shows enhanced precision. Refractive lens exchange is becoming a very popular procedure for patients in their later 40s, 50s, and 60s. It allows patients to obtain the full range of vision without glasses or contact lenses to be able to see for distance, intermediate, and near. It can be performed with traditional surgery or with a femtosecond laser, but the laser offers improved precision. Traditional surgery consists of a technique of phacoemulsification. This method utilizes ultrasound energy, which is similar to using a jackhammer, essentially a probe that vibrates over 20,000 times per minute. In contrast, the femtosecond laser breaks up the lens without making an incision in the eye. This results in less inflammation, which can lead to a quicker visual recovery. In addition, there are many advantages of the laser approach in a variety of eye conditions that allow for a more efficient removal of the lens. A scientific review paper by the doctors at the Bachner Eye Institute revealed the advantages of the femtosecond laser. The main advantages of the femtosecond laser are one, to create a perfect opening in the capsule that ends up holding the implant. Two, fragmentation of the lens to reduce ultrasound energy. And three, microcorneal incisions to reduce astigmatism. The femtosecond laser is guided by sophisticated 3D imaging, and this allows real-time imaging of the front of the eye the cornea, the anterior chamber, the iris, and the lens. There are many ocular conditions that involve the anatomy of the eye or type of lens or cataract that allow for a more efficient operation with the laser technique. The femtosecond laser is capable of making a perfect circular opening in the front portion of the lens. This is referred to as a capsulotomy. With traditional surgery, the surgeon tears this by hand. The pictures here demonstrate the greater precision with the laser technique. The laser capsulotomy allows for a more consistent size, shape, and centration. The capsulotomy can be centered over the line of sight. A perfect capsulotomy in which through the surgeon places the implant can influence the final visual result as well as quality of vision. The laser can reduce astigmatism by making precise corneal incisions at a certain depth, angle, and location. These incisions are guided by a highly accurate imaging system. These micro-incisions are often combined with a toric implant to correct astigmatism. In the post-operative period, these incisions can be opened to modify the final visual result. We performed the very first femtosecond laser procedure utilizing the catalyst laser at the Bachner Institute in 2013. Picture here are some of the engineers and doctors that developed this advanced technology. Let's review the steps involved in using the femtosecond laser. It is very easy for patients to undergo and not painful. The first step is to custom program each patient's information into the laser, which guides the treatment. The next step is to instill anesthetic drops 
to numb the eye. A docking device is used to hold the eye. Patients do not have to worry about looking in a specific location. The docking device is then positioned on the eye. The patient is then moved over underneath the laser. The docking device which holds the eye is then locked in place with the laser. The intended treatment is visualized on the computer screen by the surgeon. The area of treatment is verified by the surgeon, which consists of the area in green. The fracture of the lens can be observed by the surgeon. The patient may see a light show, but no discomfort. After the femtosecond laser, the patient is moved to a second operating room, where the eye is cleaned, a surgical drape is placed in position, tiny incisions, micro incisions are made in the cornea, and then the lens or cataract is removed, primarily with the technique of aspiration and not ultrasound energy. The new intraocular implant is inserted, through the tiny opening made in the capsule of the lens, and then an antibiotic is instilled, and then the patient is ready to move to the recovery area. In summary, the femtosecond laser can be utilized for both cataract and refractive lens exchange surgery. The reduced inflammation can speed up the visual recovery. In addition, there are significant advantages in the treatment of a wide variety of lens and eye conditions. At the Bachner Institute, we have successfully treated over 3,000 patients using this advanced technology. The techniques we have developed using this technology have made this our procedure of choice for both cataract and refractive lens exchange surgery. Thank you for your attention and for your interest in this topic.